In this reel, I will explain what Helm charts are, how they are used in Kubernetes, and walk you through Helm folder structure and few key commands along with practical demo by deploying an Nginx application. Hi guys, today is day 31 of the DevOps Interview Question series. Helm charts are like packages for Kubernetes applications. They combine all needed resources like deployment, services, and configs into one reusable unit, making it easy to deploy, manage, and upgrade applications on Kubernetes cluster. Let me explain the folder structure. The Helm chart folder folder contains three main parts templates charts and values in the template folder we define all yml files like deployment and services the values.yml file stores key value pairs which we reference in templates using values.key name for example we use replica count set to 2 from values.yml and also pull the cluster name from chart.yml allowing dynamic configurations of names and settings let me quickly show you a demo of deploying this helm chart I am currently in the folder that contains all the chart files. I will run the command helm install and the chart name dot. The dot refers to the current directory. After running this, the chart is deployed with the name myenginx and shows status deployed with revision 1. Next, I am running helm list to display all deployed charts and their status. If I check with using kubectl get service pods, I can see the nginx service and pod running. Since the service type is cluster IP, the application is accessible only within the cluster. To access it locally, I will run kubectl port forward command. Then in another terminal, I will run curl http localhost and the port number. And you will see the nginx welcome page is accessible. Now let me show you a few more helm commands. First I will list the deployed helm charts and I can see my nginx is available. Next I want to upgrade this chart by modifying its YML files. I will go into the template folder and edit the service.yml, changing the target port from 80 to 8080. After saving the file, I return to the charts main folder and run helm upgrade my nginx dot. This successfully upgrades the chart and you will see the status updated to deployed with revision 2. If you want to remove the chart, you can use helm uninstall and the chart name. This deletes the deployment and running helm list will confirm there are no charts deployed. I hope this helps you to get a clear understanding of helm charts. Follow for more real world DevOps into scenario questions. See you in day 32.